Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo and in this video you are going to learn how the chunk method and the difference between the group by method and the chunk method because you're going to learn how it works. So to understand this method we're going to be solving a little programming challenge, okay? And the challenge is that we're given an array of numbers, in this case an array of integers, and the task, the challenge, is to take this array and find the same number one after the other. So what I mean by that is like this. So five, five, we want to find that and we want to add them up. So when we find the same number twice or three times or four times in a row, so in a sequence, we just add them up and that's going to be the result. So in this case, the result would look like this because we have five and five the same number repeated one after the other. And then we, we add the number up, which is five plus five times, right? And here, we, if we had two and two, then this would become four. So that's the challenge. Now, how can we do this? Well, one way to do this could be to use the group by method. I already covered group by on other videos and also the itself method. But we're going to be using it here as a means of demonstrating the difference between group by and the chunk method. Okay, so let me run this code. As you can see, we get a hash of these numbers. So my idea here is that if we group these numbers, then we can add them up, right? That's what we want to do. So in here we can do transform values sum, right? So what this we do is go over every value, which are these arrays, and then sum up the values. So this is what it looks like, right? So we get 10 as we want. And we have mo one more step, which is to go back from here to an array, because right now we have a hash, right? And to do that, since I only want the values, I can do, I can use the values method, value method. As you can see, we are combining several methods and this is why knowing about many different Ruby methods is very helpful because methods are what makes things happen. Methods are what makes things happen in Ruby. So by combining these methods like this, and of course itself and some are also methods, so there are five methods just in this line of code, we get what we wanted, right? we get the result. Now, what happens if I add a five at the start of the array, right? This should not be added. This should not be 15, right? But what happens if I run the code? It becomes 15. Why? Because when we use group by, it doesn't make a difference about the order. It can't differentiate about the order of these numbers. And as per the challenge description, we want only to add up to some numbers that are one after the other. So they are in a sequence. But this five is isolated, it's by itself. It's not in a sequence with these other fives, we don't want to add this, this five to the others, right? 
So what I mean is that the expected result should be like this. So how can we make that happen? Well, group by is not the right method for this. And that's the whole reason I show you this example is because this uh, the chunk method. So chunk is very similar to group by, but the difference is that it produces an array instead of a hash, as you can see here. And this array, it follows the order. It follows the order the items are. So if I say chunk by itself, what it does is if we find the same number itself, so five, it will try to find as many fives as it can and put them together. So that's why we have in here five, five, and then the other fives are in there, right? Do you see that? So with that, we can work. So what, what are we going to do? Well, we can take these numbers. So let's do for map last. Okay. Now we, go, we get the actual numbers. And now let's do map sum. So we're still using the sum method like before. But now notice what happens. We get what we wanted, we get, we get expected result, right? Because chunk is following the order where group by doesn't. So that's the difference between group by and chunk. And chunk is used, is used for these things like this. When you want to group these items, which doesn't have to be numbers, it can be strings, it can be any other kind of objects, by following the order, instead of just grouping them more in a global way, like group, B, group by does, okay? And this allows you to solve the challenge correctly. So that's the chunk method. This is a method, by the way, this is a method defined on the enumerable, on the enumerable module, which is very important to understand if you want to become a good Ruby developer. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Please click the like button for me so I know that you like this video as uh, some more people can find the video and learn from this information and learn these methods, these Ruby methods and the power of combining methods like this. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and visit my website rubyguides.com rubyguides.com in there you will find hand, more than 100 ruby tutorials and you will also find my newsletter and my ruby book where i talk about things like this about ruby methods the enumerable module uh, Ruby blocks, all of these useful things. Thanks all for watching. I will see you in the next video.